hi guys uh, welcome back so um, today i will uh, create a basic program in python uh, in pygame so we'll uh, i wanted to i wanted to show you how to display text on a pygame window so we can create a static text or a dynamic text in in a pygame okay well, many times what happens is that uh, we need to uh, we need to uh, display the text in uh, some coordinates of the object or anything or a speed of a object or it's a score of the game whatever is the score of the game that we have to display on the screen so i'll show you how to do that so this is how it will look like so we i i, I have created an object in the pi game window and then there is a coordinate i have displayed the coordinate which is there on the on the right top corner so it will display the text uh, with the exact coordinate of the rectangle yeah so this is i'll show you how to make it yeah so just uh, do it okay fine so yeah let's create a basic uh, window first yeah mm, so display text dot py yeah so <coughs> usr bin python course will display import the pi game and i will not uh, you know i'll be very quick on this because i have already talked about these uh, thing what uh, what uh, what it does like in it it mod it initializes all the modules of the pi game so we we'll simply create a uh, uh, <coughs> we'll simply create a, a window first okay so let's say uh, Let's create a screen first, which will hold all the objects. Okay, so a screen will be like pi game dot display dot set mode. We'll set the mode. We'll set the dimension. Like let's say six hundred and uh, let's say five hundred. Yeah. Okay. So okay, and then let's uh, display it the screen while uh, not done okay for event in pi game i have already uh, discussed this topic how to create a window or how to create a very basic window with a certain object so you can see that tutorial so here i will uh, simply create a window first event dot type equal to so so we will uh, once when we quit when we press the quit button then only the window should quit that is our purpose so we'll make the done equal to true and the window should exit and by that time it should display the screen so we'll uh, display like a uh, high game or display dot you can give update or you can give flip anything yeah fine so let's try to execute it display hmm. okay so how what is happening okay so as per the python syntax we have to give colon in every every block right so okay by game dot display it again one must be two item sequence not int okay so i guess this is it will take a tuple value which is one value okay so we created a window right so it will hold as long as i press the quit button so this is fine will very quickly uh, create an object also let's i uh, will let's create a circle or anything let's create a rectangle by game dot rect dot draw i believe yeah so the rectangle takes uh, three argument first is uh, the screen where we want to the surface where we want to put it then the 
the color which is we'll set it here let's define a color first which, which is nothing but an rgb format red green blue so we'll make it red yeah so we have given red as 255 so color i have given and then then the rect so pi game pi game dot dot rect so we it will take four things uh, the x y which is the start position of the of the rectangle so we will give it 100 100 and then we will give uh, like height and width so let's give it 100 that's okay yeah so let's see what is happening okay there is something wrong pi game is not defined line number 14 uh, always some <coughs> typing error okay there is no draw I guess it is draw I game dot draw yeah it's a draw actually I game dot draw and then the, the object that we want to draw yeah, so this is my rectangle which is drawn here so till till now what we have done we have created a window and then we have added an object which is rectangle to the window fine so now I can uh, okay uh, so let's let's give it a movement okay uh, to make uh, I want to display a dynamic text on the screen so uh, let's say coordinate of the rectangle okay so so um, yeah so let's take the key position also so that we can move the rectangle we'll we'll move the rectangle as per using the keyboard so <coughs> okay right so uh, let's take the key press event first so key key pressed equal to key press equal to uh, there is a module called key dot I guess it is get uh, get focused right? yeah I think it's get pressed sorry yeah get pressed so it will it will take the it will take the key which is pressed and will return the, the the true value if that key is pressed if let's say if I press H it will uh, return uh, true for the key H okay fine so we'll compare it if uh, key pressed for uh, k okay it is should be i game dot if the key pressed for k up is true then what we'll do we will move the rectangle up right for that we need a variable so instead of the static value we'll put x and then we'll put y right okay and then we'll initialize the values to 100 100 right okay now we can use it here to move it right so x when we go up so it will be, it will be decremented as decremented by 3 right okay similarly we can just uh, copy it for rest of the okay so key up then key down which will increment okay i'm sorry key up will in, will decrement the y coordinates right of course yeah so yeah so key up will decrement the y key down will decrement will increment the y coordinate then left left will decrement x and So left will decrement x and right right will do what right will increment x right i g h 
Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. So it will increment x. Fine. So uh, now it should work. Fine. Now there is one more problem I, I have discussed in my previous uh, tutorial that if I it will work the keys are working but um, there are two things which are wrong that first thing is that we have to clear the we have to clear the the previous rectangle because when we are pressing the up button the rectangle is moving but the previous rectangle is not going off so we have to clear it so we, there is a method called called fill uh, in uh, for a surface dot fill which is screen here so screen dot fill will be zero 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 so we will make it blank okay so okay yeah i think it's a tuple so we'll have to give it a single value it will not take three values it will take one value which is a tuple so okay now if you see i press up button it is moving i press right it is moving but it is moving very fast so let's control it using a clock very fastly yeah so clock clock equal to there is a there is a module in pi game which is called time dot clock so it gives you uh, a way to control the movement speed or, or the frame speed the the frame per second speed okay in in python so we can use that clock dot tick so we can specify the rate okay so if let's give it uh, 40 seconds yeah so if we do this i can see that it is controlled man it is not moving very fast right so my keys are working up right up left yeah fine so now we have created the object with the movement using the keys now i want to display the coordinate which is my purpose hmm. fine so for that we have to do two things we have to uh, create a font for the text that is first thing then we have to uh, render the font with the text okay and then we have to add that uh, text to the surface so first we'll create the font right so let's call it my font equal to my game dot font there is a method there is a there is a module called sys font in my in python which takes uh, argument like the name of the font and the size of the font right so we'll give uh, you can give anything like you know italic or any any whatever you want so i'm giving a name of the font and then the size which is like let's say give it uh, let's give it 10 yeah let's give it 15 okay so let's uh, let me get look a look little bigger so that is my font style now we'll render the font so my font dot render okay fine so okay fine so my font dot render and then render takes uh, what it takes it takes first argument as a text so let's try it first let's give it a demo text and then it will it takes uh, the 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 size which is one and then and then the third argument is uh, what it takes the third argument as the color right so we can give any color let's give it a different color let's give it blue color okay uh, no, not the same color as the as the rectangle so let's make it blue okay so rgv so we'll uh, okay rgb so we'll make it 255 here so this is blue color fine so now we'll edit here c o l o r fine so this is my rendering of the text now we'll add this text to the screen so there is a method called blit which is uh, used to add the image or any any text to the screen so blit then the source 
which is my font that is what i want to add <coughs> sorry <coughs> and then the destination which is the position where you want to place the text let's say i want to place it at 500 okay let's call it give it 400 comma 10 fine right yeah let's see how it works okay i think something is wrong line number 30 okay line number 30 screen okay uh, the text the the font name and the coordinate right the blit the font i mean i'm sorry yeah okay so this uh, this font returns a, a text value right so uh, this when we render the text it returns a, a, a source uh, object okay so we have to retrieve that first so let's say i want to uh, let's call it a text or uh, text text one yeah so that is the source and that is that should be added here not the font name right so okay now you see my text is there yeah so the text is added you can see that right here fine why is it not blue okay we'll see that fine so color blue color okay i have you i have created the blue blue color but i haven't used it so let's give it blue color fine and then if i run it it look blue fine you can see that right okay let's make it a little bit bigger okay so we'll make it uh, 20 the the size of the font will let's make it 20 fine so now that is okay now uh, we want to make uh, let's make it a dynamic value instead of a static value so let's give it a coordinate yeah so let's give it x comma y yeah so fine so how do i make it x comma let's put equal to and then we'll give x right so how do we append text in in python using the plus operator right so plus then x but x is a x is an integer here right so we have to convert it to string using the str fine and then plus i'm sorry plus let's give a let's give a comma and then plus str and then y right then plus let's okay let's close it yeah so i'm closing it okay and then here we'll open it fine so let's see how it is looking now okay so this is very nice you can see the coordinate i can if you can see that right x y equal to x comma y which is nothing but the exact uh, location of the rectangle right which is the dynamic value so this is all guys i just wanted to uh, give you how we can uh, you know uh, display a text in the pi go, uh, in the pi game yeah, so it could be anything it could be speed of the object a score of the game like we want to display this the, the score that uh, one has acquired yeah so this is uh, useful uh, so yeah i think it is very useful for your game purpose or anything it's very simple very small just 33 lines of codes okay so you can customize this as per your own choice you can write whatever you want on the screen but this is the how you can do it so that's all guys thanks for watching please subscribe my channel thanks